The video you're about to see might have to do with music theory. Don't worry, it's way simpler than you think, I promise you. Let me prove it to you with my free music theory DNA course, which is going to put you on the right path to learning those hard to understand concepts in a super easy and healthy way. Check out guitarinfusion.com, enter your best email address, I'll be sending you that free course right away. But for now, let's get into the video. Today is a very special day because you are about to hear me sing. You're in for a treat. Not. <laughs> but singing is very important. Today we're going to learn how to really connect with the instrument, which this channel is all about that. We're going to use our voice, we're going to use our ears, and of course our fingers, our guitar, our amps, our axe effects, we're going to use a lot of stuff. But the main thing you need is your guitar. Go grab it. I'll meet you right after this. Hi, my name is David Wallerman. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping guitar players like all of us find our voice on the instrument, develop it to tell our own musical story. And today we're really going to connect with the, the core essential thing that a lot of players forget, and that's the voice, the voice and the ear and, and all those things. When you learn a new language, you listen first, and then you try to replicate what you're hearing. You try all those sounds and, and we forget that because we get so caught up in, you know, we get caught up in, in this. <laughs> the technique, the scales, the position the theory and all that kind of stuff, which is cool, but without, you know, that inner voice that tells you what to play, it's just uh, mimicking what others are doing and not really, really telling your own story. So how do we do that? Well, let's think for a second about what happens when we're one with the instrument. Where does the idea come from? Well, it can come from a lot of places, but at some point that idea, that musical idea is planted somewhere inside in your heart, in your brain, wherever you want it, whatever you want to replace there, but it's planted inside, somewhere deep inside of you. It has to come out. Eventually, as guitar players, it comes out through our fingers. But let's forget about that. Let's just think about uh, an idea, like you're writing a book, you need a story, where does the idea come from? Well, it's still planted inside, and then it comes out. If you're telling the story, it comes through your mouth, and that's the most direct uh, typically the, the, the fastest route to come out is through your mouth. Why? Because we've been doing it for so long. Since you're a baby, you tried to do that. So we need to retrain our, our body to bring the idea out through the fingers. And it's going to go through different things. It's not going through, you know, that pipe. It's going through tendons, muscles, and, and all that, all that, you know, uh, body, bodily function stuff. But today we're gonna actually uh, take a, you know, a longer route before we go straight to the thought process going out of your, your hands. The longer route is to think about the idea. The idea, it's gonna come out through the mouth because then you can hear the idea in, um, f with your outside ears instead of just internally. And that's going to help you think about you know, what's going on with that idea. What is the direction of the idea? What are the pitches? All those things. If you can hear them from the outside, your inside also will hear it, but it's going to be easier to connect the dots, basically. All right, for this, we need a canvas. Just like when you're writing a story, you need a main idea. Our canvas here, the setting that we're going to use is something you're very comfortable with, the pentatonic scale. We're going to work in this zone of the fretboard. And we're going to work in the key of 
G, G minor pentatonic. If you're completely new to guitar, you should know this. Um, so memorize it. Two notes per string for the first position. From the low E string to the high E string, we have frets 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 6, and 3, 6. I really hope you have a guitar in hand because without it, you're not going to make the most of this video. So make sure you have it. And play this position several times. Really important that you have a good you know, sense of where the notes are going to come. Once you have this, we're going to start uh, a first exercise where we're going to just ascend the scale. And before playing the next note, I want you to sing what that next note should sound like. Okay, so let's give that a try. We've got our first note. And imagine what the next note, so you know that it's on the low E string sixth fret, what is it going to sound like? Bum, bum, and then check. Bum. If yes, move on to the next. If you're singing, fix it. And so forth. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's too high for me. But you get the idea. And that's where you, you switch on your internal ears and your internal imagine saying those things. But that's the first exercise. You're doing that for a few minutes and you're getting a, a decent idea of, you know, that color. That's kind of the world we're operating in here. Okay, now I'm going to sing something. Brace yourselves. <laughs> I'm going to sing this. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. Four notes. What's the direction? Are you climbing a mountain? Are you going down? Are you climbing and going down? Da, 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 da. Just climbing. So, very simple. What should you be playing now? Well, you should be playing the first four notes of that pentatonic scale. Da, 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 da. And you know that because we've been doing that for a few minutes and that's kind of ingrained in your mind. So, Okay, here's another idea. I'm going to sing it and then I want you to play it. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. One two three four five five notes. What's the direction? Da 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 da. A little lower. You should be playing something like this. We're still in the same world here, operating in the same zone of the fretboard. Just notes of the pentatonic scale. Okay. Da 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 da. Okay. How about this one? Da, 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 da. Well, David, you're just repeating the same ideas over and over. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. You should be playing that pentatonic again. How about uh, ba, 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 ba. Still pentatonic. Da, 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 da. Try that. Da, 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 da. Ba, ba, da, da. Just playing with those few notes. Da 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 da. One two. Da 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 da. How about this one? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. One two three four five six. Da 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 da. Okay, great. You should be landing on the fifth string, fifth fret. What about this one? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, so da da da. What about da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. Should be playing the fourth string, second fret there. Okay, now that you have this, let's talk about what you had for breakfast a little bit. I had, what did I have this morning? 
Cheerios. I did. Um, my daughter had, well, we're out of oatmeal. She didn't have oatmeal this morning. I don't, I'm not sure what she had. Oh, you know what? <laughs> she, bad parenting there. She had a hot dog. She stole it from the fridge. She did. Um, my son, I, you know why I'm doing this? Because I want to make a point that uh, what we're doing is in green now. Could you play this? Da, 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 da. It's way easier, right? Now, if you mess up, if you played something like this for ba 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 bum, that's great. You know why? Because mistakes are are teaching elements. Without the mistake, you'd never know that it was a mistake. Make sense? Da 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 da. Ba da bum. Now let's try with this. Da, da, da. What are you playing there? Da, da, da. Yep. Da, 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 da. Ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. da. Da, 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 da. And before you know it, you're actually singing phrases, replicating this on your instrument. And eventually it'll be instant. In this case, we can put words to what we did. We started with the minor pentatonic scale, but then we added some notes because we heard that, oh, that could be cool. Da, 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 da. And then we're in Dorian mode, but all that, the vocabulary, can be added after. The very first thing is really singing and then fishing around for ideas. At first, you know, ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -ba. you're going to fish a lot, but eventually the fishing is going to be easier and easier. And that's probably the most useful exercise that you can do for any instrument. It starts from within, sing it out loud, play it on your instrument and see what comes out. And you'll see that if you actually put this down, literally, and listen to a track, and sing. And then grab it, and replicate what you sang. It's gonna sound way cooler than your voice. Da da bum, da da ba ba. And all that teaches you is that you, you do not need to memorize billions of licks. Just a few, involve your ear, and your ear is going to tell you what to play. Okay, that's what I had for you. If you want to organize these thoughts a little bit more, you should learn your intervals. That's really going to help you, and I have a free course on that. It's a conceptual course, but it's really going to put you on the right track for music theory and develop as um, a mature guitar player and musician. And you can do that by just signing up to the link below. Again, it's free, guitarinfusion.com. I will be sending you my free music theory DNA course, which is an email course, and it's going to put you on the right track for all that. And if this was your first visit, you should subscribe because every week, three videos like this one come out helping guitar players like you find your voice, your unique voice on the instrument, develop it to tell your own personal musical story. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Practice well.